Hello family, and thanks for stopping by. Today on the menu I have one of my favorite side dishes, garlic and butter fettuccine with spinach. And here are the ingredients. I have your black pepper, fettuccine, butter, salt, heavy whipping cream, spinach, one egg, some chopped green, green onions, garlic, gouda, and parmesan cheese. Let's begin cooking. I have my water boiling for my fettuccine. I'm going to add some salt. Always salt your water for your pasta. You want it to have flavor too. And I've broken my fettuccine in half because I don't have a pasta pan. Maybe I'm going to mention that to my husband. But I broke them in half so they, they could all cook at the same time. And we're going to cook these for about 12 minutes. And then we'll take it from there. While my spaghetti is cooking, I'm going to smash and peel my garlic. Whoops, that one went west. And uh, I'm going to add it to a pan with some butter. I'm making a mess. mess. I'm going to take a few tablespoons of butter and add the garlic I've just peeled and smashed to make some garlic butter. After you've extracted as much of the garlic out as you like, you can taste it to see if it's strong enough or or to your liking, then you remove the garlic and set it aside. I've cooked my noodles for 11, 12 minutes and I've strained them. I reserved some of the water. You should always reserve the water when you're making this dish because sometimes it'll be too thick from the cheeses and you can just thin it out with a little bit of um, starch water from the pasta. Now I'm going to use some of the pasta water, the hot pasta water, to temper my egg so that it won't scramble in my dish. And all you do is you scramble it a little bit and you add some of the hot water quickly. A little more. You don't want scrambled eggs in your dish. That wouldn't be right. Some heavy whipping cream. Just to help make it creamy. Butter. more. My heat is on low. I'm going to add in the spinach so that it can wilt. I'm going to add some salt, not much, just a little, and some pepper. Continue to toss around and let the spinach 
continue to wilt. The garlic butter that we made, we're going to add that in. Get it all because that's garlic flavor. We're getting there. I have added a little more salt and a little more butter. Remember, you have to taste. Taste your food so you'll know what it needs, what it has enough of. Turn the pot off when you start adding your when you start adding your cheese and see how it's getting thick and remember if it gets too thick we can add the reserve pasta water And I think we're about ready. I've added just a little bit of red pepper, just for a hint of spice, and I've added onions, the green onions that I chopped up, just for another layer of flavor. And there you have it, my friends. Garlic and butter fettuccine with spinach. It's a delicious side, side dish. I hope you try it. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I had fun. I hope you did too. And don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Add a comment. Critique me. And don't forget to pray, friends. And then pray some more. Pray for her. Pray for him. Pray for them. Pray for you. Pray for us. Then pray again. Don't stop praying. Pray. And until next time, my friends, be well.